So we think of uh, the Global Media Monitoring Project as a good practice at the international level. And what would you say has been the value of GMMP in relation to advocacy initiative uh, at the international level? I think the GMMP has actually been uh, very important, both beginning at the level of process, as well as uh, with the final results that come out of the GMMP. In terms of process, um, what I have learned as a coordinator of the GMMP is that it is equally, if not more important, to engage the ordinary citizens in learning how to monitor their news media from a gender perspective. In fact, one cannot advocate for an issue that they do not understand. If you do not understand, understand the issue, you would not know what you're talking about. And therefore, the value of the GMMP is in building that ability to be critical, uh, that ability to ask the right questions about where are the women, uh, who, where, where are the imbalances in terms of gender, uh, when it comes to those who are speaking in the news, those who are heard, uh, those who are seen. So that is very important. In terms of the data itself, the results, the results have been used in numerous ways, at national level, at regional level, at, inter at international level. I could just cite, for instance, this year, the UN Secretary General quoted the results of the GMMP uh, to underline the importance of uh, the making changes uh, in regard to um, addressing the issues of violence against women journalists. So in that sense, the GMMP provides the results that are very much needed at, uh, for advocacy, uh, both in content, in, in uh, uh, practice, as well as in policy. So, and, and what would you say is the value of a, a project that is uh, globally comparative, uh, looking at the ways in which women and men are represented in the news? I think that is incredibly, incredibly valuable, uh, the comparative nature of the GMMP. Uh, being comparative means you, one is able to get results that um, shows the similarities and differences across states, across nations, across cultures. And the GMMP has demonstrated uh, through the uniformity of the results that have been collected that the problem is systemic, it is structural, it's part of uh, the media production process, and it is not located at any one particular culture or any one particular media house. As well, the GMMP as a longitudinal, lo longitudinal project that um, collects data over years, in five years since 1995, has been able to show uh, the pace of change towards gender equality and has been able to show that the rate of change has been extremely excruciatingly slow. Um, and it also enables to um, collect data on the particular areas where more effort is needed to bring about change.